today beautiful friend beautiful soul beautiful heart peace lover meditation lover have a beautiful sunday wherever you are have a beautiful sunday hopefully i meet you in a healthy happy and holy condition this lover meditation lover beautiful heart beautiful friend beautiful soul wherever you are deep thank you for keep joining our guided meditation the weather here in the mountain northern part of bali where my ashram our located swara located is very clear the sky is cloudless the temperature is very supportive not too hot not too cold usually the weather here is too windy but now it appears there is no wind hopefully it is a good omen that our guided meditation this afternoon will be will bringing a lot of beautiful light to your own inner darkness by the time we are waiting for 12 minutes past 12 and waiting also thousands of our friends in the process of joining us kindly allow me to summarize my summary this morning this morning i summarized my last presentation two weeks ago in the full moon session transforming illness into wellness as i keep repeat, repeating from time to time illness begin with i wellness begin with we suffering pain which belong to the family of illness usually visit the people who live in the territory of i i means ego um, selfishness the feeling of being better the feeling of being cleverer that is the territory of illness where there are a lot of pain and suffering while wellness wellness means the physical healing the mental healing and spiritual healing are in balance the territory of wellness usually visit you who live in the level of we the most important thing in this case is learn to be happy by making the others happy that is what i keep repeating this morning to all of you after a guided meditation the most important transformation from illness i to wellness we is learn to be happy by making the others happy how we all want to be happy we all want to be happy every time you meet a person who want to harm you keep asking yourself what is the suffering behind the person who harm you what is the network of suffering it can be problematic family it can be problematic finance they can be losing their job whatever usually behind the actions of harming the others there is always a complicated network of suffering behind when you deeply understand the complicated network of suffering behind the person who harm you usually the rose of understanding beautifully blossom with it 
as soon as the rose of understanding beautifully blossom with it, you will be easily forgive. In the moment of forgiving, the first person who is happy and holy is you. It is you yourself who firstly happy and holy in the moment of forgiving. Much deeper than forgiving, learn to make the others happy. Learn to be happy by making the others happy. <clears throat> to the most commoner, they only can make the others happy when they are happy, like receiving the bonus, being praised by the neighbor, or seeing that your wife appear to be more beautiful than usual. That is the commoner. But for the, the deep traveler like you, the deep meditation traveler, learn to make the others happy even when you are full of sadness. There is a deep beautiful soul. Not only making the others happy when you are happy, you learn to make the others happy even when you are sad. It is much deeper. If that is the case, the transformation between I into we, the transformation from illness into wellness will be much deeper and brighter. This is not only mentioned in the holy scriptures of Tantra, in which I keep learning from year to year. This is also true according to my own personal experience. I am now entering the age of 60, which is no longer young. But my, the, my health condition is much better than when I was 40 or 50. I come to the medical doctor only once after eight years of retiring. I only came to the dentist only once. But the, health, the health condition is much better. The quality of my relationship with the close family and friends and students are also very healthy. I am very angry to my wife very, very seldom, very, very seldom. Maybe once in three months. My wife said once in a year. It, it is a small conflict, something that happened to many couples. I never get angry to my student, never. You may ask Pak Darmit, the coordinator of Spiritual Compassion Jakarta, who have been joining us for more than 30 years. You may ask Pak Koming Sudiarte, the coordinator of Bali. I never angry to them, never. And the good news, the program running well. This is what I call as leadership without anger. In the corporate world where I grew in the young age, it is impossible to lead the others without anger. It is impossible. But in the spiritual life that I am following, it is possible. The program can run well without any anger. What is the spirit behind? It is the spirit of transforming from I into we. It is not only you who want to be happy, the others also want to be happy. It is not only you who suffer, the others also suffer. That is the concrete example of transformation from I into we. In the moment you are completely grow in the territory of we, then wellness is something which is not difficult, but I will say easy. Pain will visit you very seldom. Suffering will visit you very, very seldom. Bad mood appears sometimes, but you are no longer being drowned by bad mood. Bad mood is simply like the clouds which coming and going. That is what I summarized this morning. 
summarizing the two week last two weeks sessions transforming illness into wellness illness is the territory of pain and suffering wellness is the condition where physical health mental health and spiritual health are in balance that is what i mean by wellness now we already 12 minutes past 12 now we are going to do guided meditation <clears throat> after guided meditation i will summarize the topic of maximizing the placebo effect which is very very important since the cycle of our time is very very challenging it is not the mission of this forum to share the pessimism no no you know already much better than uh, me what happened in the news what happened in the television the challenges of our time is very challenging that's why i will share to you the topic of maximizing the placebo effect which is very very important it is needed by almost everyone after a guided meditation i will share to you maximizing the placebo effect placebo effect means someone is healed not by the medicine outside but by the medicine inside what is the medicine inside is your faith your belief it has been widely researched not only in psychology but also in medical school the placebo effect is there within your body we will talk about maximizing the placebo effect after this guided meditation two weeks ago in the full moon i shared to you the idea of maximizing the placebo effect since the challenge of our time is very challenging this idea is needed by countless people the placebo effect the people who are no longer healed by outside medicine but being healed by the inside visit medicine what is the inside medicine is your own faith your own belief this is not a new topic it is a very old topic it has been widely researched not only in psychology but also in the medical school it has become a very old topic since the challenge of our time is very difficult now more than ever we need the inner medicine which is the placebo effect i will summarize to you as clear as possible what i mean by placebo effect if you can maximize the placebo effect you no longer need medicine outside because your body have all the ability to heal yourself that is what i mean by maximizing the placebo effect it is not something new actually it is it is a very old ideas about healing now we are entering the summary maximizing uh, the placebo effect some of you who learn neuroscience neuroscience is study about human brain it has been published widely in many journal of neuroscience it has been pub- published widely the human brain can cannot distinguish between true reality and the reality which is produced by the mind this is very fundamental let me repeat again since this is very fundamental the human brain cannot distinguish between the true reality and the reality which is produced by the mind for that reason you can train the mind in the positive language you can train the mind in the negative language you can excuse me you can train the brain in the negative language you can manipulate the brain 
in order to make the brain help you to heal your own self especially because human brain cannot distinguish between the true reality and the reality which is produced by the mind it has been widely said in the journal of neuroscience you can change your brain by changing your mind for that reason it is very very important to train your your brain in a much more positive way there are two example in this case the first one is negative example the second one is the positive example it happened in every country as soon as the medical doctor showing to you the laboratorium test that there is cancer inside your body the things which kill you it is not the cancer the thing that kill someone who is who die because of the cancer it is not because of the cancer it is because the brain make a hurry conclusion that he or she will die because of the cancer it is dangerous for that reason as soon as medical doctor or laboratorium test making conclusion to you that you have a cancer inside yourself please do not let the brain make a hurry conclusion that you will certainly die because of the cancer why because if the brain make a conclusion that you will die because of the cancer the conclusions of die make the brain producing the hell hormone one of the hell hormone is cortisol and this hell hormone will poison not only your immune system your digesting system but but also almost all system inside of the body as a result the body will certainly collapse into death again since this is very very important as soon as the medical doctor and laboratory test concluding that you have a chronic illness inside your body do not make a hurry conclusion that you will certainly die no do not make a hurry conclusion sending the positive messages to your brain you know medical science is only one of point of view not the only point of view laboratorium test is only one point of view not only not the only point of view because human body is the most complicated machine here in samsaric realm the most complicated machine medical test one point of view the conclusions of medical doctor only one of the few there are another point of view psychological point of view spiritual point of view light point of view there are many point of view that you can use to see your body in short do not make do not let the brain make a hurry conclusion that you will certainly die because of chronic illness that is negative example now i will give you the positive example one day there is research from harvard medical school who bring a number of old people go outside of boston city using any symbol that make the old people feel healthy and young some of them riding harley davidson some of them using the van which belong to uh, the car or the van in the 60 or 70 any symbol that make those old people feel young and healthy going outside of boston city and 
Harvard Medical School conducted a retreat about how to feel young and healthy. The retreat is those old people are bombarded every every day for five night and day with the symbol symbol of being young, healthy, and long life. Using the negative language, if you send the negative news to the brain, the brain will produce hell hormone, which disturbs the quality of your health. But what happened in the research about the group old people conducted by Harvard Medical School? For five days and five nights, those old people visualizing, training the brain in a much more positive way. As a result, the quality of health getting better. Back to the previous conclusion, human brain cannot distinguish between true reality and reality which is produced by the mind. For that reason, you can train the mind in a much more positive way. When you train the brain in a much more positive way, looking at all the things in a positive way, the brain will produce growth hormone like serotonin, dopamine, which certainly increase, in, improve the quality of your health. The second part of the story of maximizing the placebo effect it has been widely published in many journals. There was a research conducted by the University of Toledo. Long research. The conclusion is very important. Those very optimistic people have a stronger placebo effect rather than those who are pessimistic. For that reason, I strongly suggest to all of you how challenging, how challenging the cycle of time is. How challenging the cycle of time is. Be optimistic. Be optimistic. Do not let the news on the television steal your optimism. Do not let the negative communication in social media steal your own optimism. No, no. Be optimistic. If you want to maximize the placebo effect inside your body, be optimistic. It has been widely researched by University of Toledo. The people who are optimistic tend to have stronger placebo effect. The third one, of course, this is not blind optimism, not a blind optimism, but optimism which is built by systematic action. Now, I will give you some steps to build your inner optimism in order to protect yourself from any kind of negative energy like disease. First of all, first of all, in order to strengthen your optimism, surround yourself with optimist environment. Surround yourself with optimist environment. Friend, family, the TV that you watch, the social media where you play, Simply surround yourself with optimist environment. That is the first step. Politely run away from the people who bombarded you with pessimism. Simply grow in the environment which is full of optimism. The second one, in order to awaken your inner optimism, be careful about nutrition. It has been concluded in Ayurveda. Ayurveda is holy scripture, the age more than 5,000 years. More than 5,000 years. The conclusions of Ayurveda is very fundamental and meaningful in this case. If you consume the wrong food, any medicines will not help. If you consume the right food, any medicine will not be needed. 
Let me repeat once again. This is only, not only the conclusions of modern nutrition researcher, but also the conclusions of Holy Scripture whose age is more than 5,000 years. Are you ready? If you consume the wrong food, any medicine will not help. If you consume the right food, any medicines will not be needed. For that reason, it is very important to choose the right food for you. In our cycle of time, it has been widely researched by many experts of nutrition. It is very important to have a high variety of plant-based food. Let me repeat again. A high variety of plant-based food. Some of you who deeply study about blue zone. Blue zone is the certain territory of earth where there are many old age which is healthy and also having long life. Okinawa in Japan, Ikaria in Italy, Costa Rica, Loma Linda in the southern part of California. It has been widely researched in blue zone on earth. They consume a high variety of plant-based food. One of the researchers even wrote, in Okinawa, where there are many old people and they are healthy more than 100 years age, you know, the variety of plant-based food in one year, more than 100, more than 100 variety. I tried already in my body. I also consume high variety of plant-based food. The first one, surround yourself with optimist environment. The second one, be careful with your nutrition. The third one, stop any kind of energy drain from the mind. As I keep sharing to you in guided meditation, most of the energy drain in human body come out from the mind. Stop any kind of negative and critical mind. Rest the mind. Everything is the dancing of the same perfection. Number three, stop energy draining from the mind. Some of you who study about longevity gene, longevity gene, we have 25,000 genes inside the body. Not blue gene, but the gene inside our body. Some of those genes is longevity gene. The gene that help us to have a longer and healthier life. One of the, ex the famous experts in this case is Dr. David Sinclair, the professor of genetics from Harvard University. I tried or already. I know the conclusions of Dr. David Sinclair around three or five years later, but I practiced these ideas more than 10 years. One of the beautiful tips to have longer and healthier body is maintaining the stomach which, the stomach which is a little bit hungry. If you call 100% which is full, don't make it 100%, make it 80%. 80%. That's why I never eat until full. I only eat until 80% full. Maintain the stomach which is a little bit hungry. That's a beautiful conclusion. I got the conclusion maybe three or five years later, but I practiced it already more than 10 years. And the result, my body is very healthy, you know. Longevity gene, in order to have a longer and healthier body, maintain a stomach which is a little bit hungry. The last suggestion to awaken your optimism in order to maximize the placebo effect, the last, this comes from 
the Valinus elder. One day I meditate in Sanur. Sa means one. Nur means the light, the light of the one. I hear the voice from Balinese elder in Sanur. Teach the people in the world to sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby. In the old time, like what happened in my young age, you know, body follow your task. Even though the body is tired, sleepy, you just force the body to do the task because body follow the task. No matter how sleepy, how tired your body, you drink the coffee in order to complete the task that belongs to the past. But what I'm now suggesting to you, the opposite. Yeah, the task follow the body. I do it to myself. In one morning, 10 or 11 o'clock, I, I, I wrote beautiful message to thousands, hundreds, thousands of my students. Suddenly, my body feels sleepy. I stop the task, simply sleep on the chair. As soon as I wake up after five minutes, continue the task. That is what I mean by sleep like a baby. What time you feel sleepy, simply sleep. You can do the task whenever the body is healthy and awake. Sleep like a baby. That is the total conclusion how to awaken your inner optimism. Because according to the research conducted by University of Toledo, the placebo effect will be much stronger and better to those people who are optimists inside. How to awaken the inner optimism? First of all, run away from the pessimist environment. Grow only in the environment which support your optimism. The secondly, be careful about your nutrition. Remember, high variety of plant-based food. The third one, stop any kind of any kind of energy pain from negative and critical mind. According to the research about longevity gene, maintain a stomach which is a little bit hungry. The last one. Remember the message of Balinus Elder. Sleep like a baby. What time the body feels sleepy, simply sleep. You can do your task as soon as the body is healthy. That is what I mean by maximizing the possible effect. The message which, which is needed by countless people. The message which is very important in our challenging time. Thank you very much, beautiful soul, beautiful friends. Thank you very much to all light lover, peace lover, and meditation lover. 6 p.m. this evening, we are going to meet again. I will share to you the idea of pain, the gift that nobody wants. That is the topic in this evening, 6 p.m., Bali time. Pain, the gift that nobody wants. Pain is not here to punish you. Pain is here to purify. There are three beautiful angels behind the pain. Pain as protector, pain as compass, and Pain as the inner severe. That is the message that I'm going to deliver this evening. Six o'clock, Bali time. See you on the evening, beautiful friend, beautiful soul, beautiful heart, light lover, peace lover, and meditation lover. Thank you very much. Hopefully, the light wicks flowing through me can illuminate certain darkness inside your unconscious mind. Sabisata bawan tu sukitata, may all beings are happy. Sarwesam santir bawatu, may all soul blossoms into peace.